Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's platform tip of the week. I know our focus has been on our new charting software for these tips, but I just I was thinking today maybe um, I'll show you something, just two little adjustments that you can do uh, right now starting today to make your life a little bit easier. Um, not that many people know that you can actually do this, and I just wanted to show you. And it's focused on the Infinity AT Dome and the Quote Board. So one thing that I like to adjust is defaulting quick click to always be enabled and what is quick click you ask if you populate a dome on the upper left hand corner there is this checkbox called quick click now if you do not have it checked it's a double left click to enter an order and a double right click to cancel it okay so I'm clicking the mouse two times to enter double right click and to cancel if I've quick click enabled every time I left click I can enter an order and the single right click cancels it just a little bit easier uh, quicker way to enter and exit an order now if I populated a brand new dome you can see that that is not enabled so maybe I miss out on a trade because I'm used to quick click and then I have to uh, select this and if this contract rolled over the next contract month, uh, that would not be enabled. And there's uh, something that you can easily do to adju adjust this. And all you have to do is go to the Infinity AT quote board, select properties. You can see on the right hand side, there is a checkbox that's labeled default quick click. If I check that, click apply and click OK. Now you can see if I populate a dome, bam, quick clicks enabled populate the NASDAQ it's enabled and even if these contracts rolled over this is always going to be enabled so um, it's just a setting that I prefer if you prefer quick click I you know I, I highly recommend you adjusting this okay now another thing that you can adjust is setting a default quantity so here's what I mean by default so I populated dome I go to enter an order it says please enter quantity because quantity is set to zero contracts. So I have to click up. Man, I missed out on that trade. Now I can actually get in. Well, you can do something that um, selects a default quantity to always populate for that particular instrument. Now all you have to do is click again on the Infinity AT Quote Board. On the right-hand side, you can see there is default quantity. Now if you double-click in that area, you can select the default in this case, I'd like to select one. Let's do it for the NASDAQ 2. And then click outside of the window. Now you can see every time I populate that contract, not only do I have quick click checked, I have default quantity of one because in that area I selected one. So if I populate a NASDAQ, it's already set to one. Just very easy because a lot of times you forgot to, you forget to select the... Um, number of contracts you'd like to trade so it's just very convenient and efficient to have a default already preset okay so hopefully those two little tidbits uh, make your life a little bit easier I appreciate your uh, feedback as always you can send me uh, questions or if you'd like me to do anything in particular uh, send me an e email it's mz at infinityfutures.com um, thanks again for coming to today's presentation thanks guys have a productive week